Hello, if you're starting your automation journey for UI with Java, I'll tell you some essentials which can help you in not facing the issues that generally people get stuck in. So let's get started. At the end of this video, you will have, you will learn various things. You will learn about this POM. You will be able to run your first program. Like generally we open google.com and you will be able to open it in various browsers. We'll try that if we can run all those parallelly as well. And we'll be able to generate an HTML report, which will look like this. And even we can uh, generate another one. Uh, let me show you that as well. So we'll be able to even generate a report like this, which will be an HTML uh, report. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first thing that you have to do is install Maven. On Google, you can type install Maven and then what will happen is it's a build management tool help you in running your test uh, via command line, run some build commands. If you are using a Windows system, you can download this zip file, extract that zip file. After that, once you are done with extracting the zip file, what you have to do is, for example, in my system in S drive, I have uh, extracted this. So whatever is the bin path, you can copy that bin path and under environment variables in windows prompt you can type here environment variables and this will open so in system variable create a variable uh, whose name is maven underscore home and you can give this bin path so that you can run the maven command from anywhere in your system it's simple just follow these steps and you will learn over the time that why uh, we are doing this but it will be very useful Apart from setting the system variables maven underscore home, there is another variable called as path. In that path, I have Windows 11. So just click on new. You can add the same path here. After that, what you have to do is open command prompt CMD and type this command MVN minus minus version, which proves that, that it's working fine. If you can even try this before installation and then just close this and reopen so that it uh, does not retain the previous because you have to, whenever you make any changes in system or environment variables, you will have to reopen this command prompt and try the command again. Let me show you MVN minus minus version. Right, so you will see that uh, I, I do have 3.9.1, which I showed you here, like simple. You have installed Maven like this. There is no wizard like click on executable. It's just a zip file, which you uh, ex unzip it and then give the environment variable and the, the, the path variable, you add an entry and you create another variable called as Maven underscore home right after this and i'm assuming that you must be having java installed in your system right java 11 or um, any version which is greater than java 11 right so after this the second software that will install is intellij you can type uh, download community community edition intellij so intellij has two edition one is i'll add all these links in the description of the video so it's better than Eclipse. Eclipse gets hanged a lot, right? So if you will use this and it is for pure Java and Kotlin development, right? So um, you land on this page, but you can scroll and download this exe, right? And I will create this whole thing again for you from scratch, right? Uh, I have given the name practice web automation, right? And we'll generate all this. So we are done with two things. We have uh, installed IntelliJ. Right, let me exit this, right? And I'll reopen this. So we have installed Maven and we have installed the second software, IntelliJ, right? So I have created this video because I see many people are struggling with their first program and uh, so that they can avoid some of the mistakes and learn multiple things at the same time. Because uh, if you go via public static void main, then for each test, you will be creating many classes. And and when you place, create so many things, then it is difficult to uh, put them together. 
So what you can do is you can click on this new project uh, as soon as you open it. So under automation folder, I am creating uh, web automation in Java, right? We are using Java language. So any name you can give. And here you can find that uh, the various versions that are there on your system. And sometimes IntelliJ also gives you the option to check out that uh, which version of Java you want. So here I have selected Java 11, right? And what I have I will do is, here, so you will have to find this Maven archetype quick start. Just uh, click on that and you can click on create. That will download and create a project structure that you will see in most of the uh, tutorials that you might see. I'm creating this because many of the tutorials are old and they are talking about web driver manager or setting the path where uh, many people get stuck. So it is downloading some of the things you'll have to wait. If you see here, it is doing some things, right? It is resolving Maven projects, creating a structure. So you'll have to wait until this is finished. So it has created a pom.xml file over here, uh, which can help you in taking care of uh, dependencies. So it has even added a git ignore file. So we'll wait for this to complete. So if you see, we this is now completed and we have a project structure where we have here generally the development code resides and here the test related to that code. Uh, but in our automation, we'll use this portion only, right? So uh, now first thing that we'll do is we need to have Selenium, right? So it has added some dependencies here. So dependencies are like uh, some things which we want, right? And uh, so we'll put here, for now, you can understand like this. We have this pom.xml, right? So here it has automatically added some of the dependencies. So instead of JUnit, we will use uh, testng. So I am deleting it and we need Selenium. So what you have to do is open your browser and type Maven Selenium dependency, right? So that will take you to this page where we'll use the latest version of Selenium, which is which is 4.10.0. What we have to do is we can copy this portion. This is a comment right from where it is coming. So you can paste it here. So that way we are bringing Selenium. Instead of downloading, we are placing in this file and Maven takes care of it by automatically downloading all the libraries. So here, if you see, as of now, it is showing JUnit. Now I have added Selenium Java, right? Now also I will search on this site, uh, test ng as well, right? So I got the first link for test ng. So test ng will help me in generating reports and running my test instead of having that public static void main, right? So these are some helper dependency. So what I can do is I can uh, paste it here. You can delete uh, this link if you want. Right, it's anyway, it's a comment, right? And then you can uh, press this button, right? As soon as you will press it, it will uh, try to update the dependencies. And here you will see that I can click on this Maven as well. Open this and click on dependency. Here you see we got the Selenium as well as TestNG. And Selenium has downloaded the dependencies which it needs. Right, so let's come back to the simple thing that we want to do, right? So there is a default test uh, that is written over here, but since we have removed JUnit, so this is not valid, right? I will uh, delete this portion and it will ask me from where you want to import this class. So it is coming from test ng now, right? And let me change this test. So what I will do is I will declare a web driver outside. Right, and I can import the class. It will automatically come from Selenium. 
right what i have to do is driver right driver sorry new i can write chrome driver and using driver i can get and i can put google.com over here or for now i am putting my blog which is cr.com right now i want to write multiple test like i want to open this same in multiple browser as we said in the starting we'll learn all of that right so i can copy this and paste it here again so this is just a sample to get you started right i can say open in chrome here i can say open in edge right and instead of this what you have to do is simply write edge driver over here right and one more time here we'll write open in firefox so these are my uh, different three different tests which i have written in a single class i can rename this class right this is just for uh, giving you a sample here i can write firefox okay our three tests are ready right and so what i can do i can simply run this from here and let's see that if we are able to open my blog in three different browser here we have give edge chrome firefox right we have initialized this driver and we'll see that whether all those reports which i showed you got added or not uh, we'll check in this code in azure repo and then even we'll run to how to create a, a ci pipeline for the same right so it's running as of now if you see uh, here below near to this tab 9 starter you will see the run over here we can even create a, a test ng file right so that will cover in the next one next video that how we can create a test ng file and run these tests in parallel right for now we can see that because that would be helpful in our ci video so let's see that uh, whether by doing this minimal thing so if you see here test star getting initiated it's telling me that where it has java 11 right so the first test it's running is open in edge it can run randomly right because i have not given any priority or things like that which are part of test ng if you learn test ng uh, you will know about that so it has open in my another monitor which i have brought it here so if you see edge got open and this is my blog which got open now it's trying in firefox so let's see where the firefox gets launched and then it will run the same in chrome so here is the firefox so if you see the browser did not got closed because i have not given the driver dot quit command right so if you see and now even the chrome will get launched after this if you see there is no chrome as of now but here we have the chrome browser also got launched right so you should give the driver dot quit command that once you learn the test ng in more detail you will be able to know that there are before after and all that stuff so hope you like it and